Which one of these homes should Elmo live in? Should he live in the red one, orange, green, blue, or purple? He should live in the red one, of course, because he's red too. Here's Elmo. Let's bring up his house and let's see what's inside. First, that's the number one. That's pretty easy to count. One dot. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. Hey, I don't think that's just one dinosaur. That's more than one. Let's count them together and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, and five. We have five red dinosaurs. Well, this house only has one on it, so we should only put one dinosaur in. One. And now Elmo can go live there. Let's put him right there. Thanks, Elmo. What about Big Bird? Which home should Big Bird live in? Well, this house is orange, just like his feet. So he should live in this one. Let's bring it forward. Can you help me count the dots and see what number's on this house? <laughs> Thanks. One, two. That's the house number two. And it's orange, just like Big Bird's feet. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, wow, it's more dinosaurs. But these look like way more than two dinosaurs. Why don't you help me count them? They're yellow and orange, just like Big Bird. One, two, let's get all the yellow ones first. Three, four, and five. Five yellow dinosaurs. Now how about the orange ones? One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, five orange and five yellow. Together that makes 10, 10 dinosaurs. Well, we only need two for this house. So why don't we do one yellow dinosaur and one orange dinosaur, that equals two. Now Big Bird can live in his house. Good job, Big Bird. Which house should Oscar the Grouch live in? Do you think the green one, blue, or purple? <laughs> You're right, the green one, because Oscar is green also. Let's count the dots. One, two, three. This house has three dots. Let's open it up. Yep, there's more dinosaurs inside. That looks like a lot more than three. Help me count. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Six green dinosaurs. Wow, that's a lot. Well, we only need three to go in the house so that Oscar can live there. So let's count to three for the house. One, two, and three. Now Oscar can go live inside. Okay, there you go, Oscar. We're down to two more houses. I'll bet you know which one Cookie Monster wants to live in. The blue one, right, because it's blue just like Cookie Monster. Let's count the dots. Let's have Cookie Monster help with this one. One, two, three, four. This house is number four. I wonder how many dinosaurs are inside. Wow, a lot more than four. Okay, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dinosaurs. Well, we only need four for this one, so help me count to four. One, two, three, and four. Now Cookie Monster can live in his house, his blue house. And last but not least is Abby. Her hair is purple, so the number five purple house will be hers. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. That's the number five house. Open it up. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's very many dinosaurs. Abby can help us count. Okay, Abby, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, we need one more to get to five. Here comes one more pterodactyl flying in. Now we have five. Help me count them to put them in the house. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Great job, Abby. Now everybody has their home. Let's look at those colors one more time. Purple, blue, green, orange, red. In Spanish, that's rojo, anaranjado, verde, azul, morado. Great job. Let's also count them now together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what that is in Spanish? Let's do it together. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. You're so smart. Elmo wants to go swimming. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? Well, of course, he's going to want to swim in the red one. Just like Elmo, he's red. But who's this? It's a new friend, Mr. Crab. If Elmo wants to swim in Mr. Crab's fishbowl, he needs to help him count to four. Those are all the bubbles on his, on his bowl. Here we go. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now, Mr. Crab, We'll let Elmo swim in his fishbowl. There he goes. <laughs> He's having fun in the pool. What about Oscar the Grouch? I think he wants to go swimming also. Which one of these fishbowls should he swim in? The green one, right. Let's count the bubbles on the fishbowl for the seahorse and maybe he'll let, let Oscar swim in his fishbowl. Here we go, let's count. One, two, two bubbles. And here goes the seahorse. And here goes Oscar the Grouch swimming. Good job, Oscar. What about Cookie Monster? Which one of these fish bowls should Cookie Monster swim in? Yes, the first one. Uh-oh, here's Mr. Shark. He's blue, just like Cookie Monster. And here's his bowl. If Cookie Monster wants to swim in the shark's bowl, he has to count the bubbles. Let's help him count. One, <laughs> that was easy. There was only one bubble. Here we go, there goes the shark. One, and here, Cookie Monster can swim. Who's next? How about Abby? Abby has purple hair. Which one of these fish bowls should Abby swim in? Yes, the purple one. That's the octopus, and there's the fish bowl. But to get in the fish bowl, we have to help her count the bubbles. Here we go. One, two, three. Three bubbles. Now the octopus can go swimming, and so can Abby. Good job, Abby. And our last one, of course, is Big Bird. Which one of these should Big Bird swim in? Right here. This is our orange fish bowl. And here's our orange fish number five. To get number five fish back into his bowl, we need to count the bubbles. Help me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And here goes the fish. And here goes Big Bird. Let's look at the colors again. Say them with me. Blue, green, purple, red, orange. Now let's do it in Spanish. Azul, verde, morado, rojo, anaranjado. Good job. Will you count them with me now? Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Great job. The Sesame Street friends say they all want to go swimming together, not in separate fish bowls. So they need to go swimming in this giant bucket of popsicles. Here comes Big Bird jumping in. And now Elmo. And Abby. They're all swimming. And now Oscar the Grouch. And now Cookie Monster. It looks like they're having fun. But what is that on there? It looks like it's letters of the alphabet. Hey, maybe Sesame Street friends can help us put the alphabet together. That's a great idea. Why don't we start with Elmo? Elmo, will you help us find all of the red popsicles? 
Yes? Great! Let's put Elmo right there. And let's find all of the red popsicles. Here's one. That's the letter V. The letter R. The letter A. I think I see one more. The letter H. Okay, let's put those there. Who should we look at next? How about Big Bird? Big Bird is yellow. So let's find all of the yellow popsicles. Wait a minute, I don't see any yellow popsicles. What about orange? Big Bird's feet are orange. Okay, let's look for the orange popsicles. Here's one, that's the letter C. And here's another orange one, the letter F. Uh-oh, <laughs> Oscar's standing on one. Here's another one, the letter S. And here, the letter P. Okay, how about Abby? Let's look at your alphabet popsicles next. Okay, let's look for the purple and pink ones because Abby is purple and pink. Okay, there's the letter D and W, B, J, L. Can you point to one if you see it and I might miss it? Y, O. Do you see any other pink and purple popsicles? Nope, me neither. How about Oscar the Grouch? Hey, Oscar, what's your favorite color? Green, right. Okay, Oscar, help me find all of the green popsicles. Here we go, that's the letter K, the letter T, and the letter Q. Did I get them all? Yep. Now it's Cookie Monster's turn. He's blue, so let's look for all of the blue letters. Here we go, the letter I, the letter M, the letter E, and the letter U. Look at all of these letters we have. Now we just have a few letters left over. These are brown. Let's pull them out and let's put our alphabet together. The letter X, the letter Z, the letter N, and the letter G. Wow, this is a lot of letters. Okay, we need to put them all in order now. Okay, which one do we start with? The letter A, right. It's right here. A, let's move all of these down here and let's line them up. A, do you see where B is? Hmm, I think I, oh, right here, B. And here's the letter C and D. What about E? E is next. Yes, down here it's blue, just like Cookie Monster. E. Now we need the letter F. Hmm. Do you see it? Oh, yes, right here, it's orange. F. And now the letter G. Here it's brown. G. H, I, J, hmm, what's next? Oh, it's the letter K. It's over here and it's green. K, let's put it underneath here. L, Next is O. How about the letter P? It's over here, P. And now we need the letter Q. R. S. We're almost done. T. U. V. W, X, Y, and 
and Z. Our Sesame Street characters help us do the whole alphabet. Let's put Elmo up here. And Big Bird right here. And Abby, how about Abby right there? And Cookie Monster right here. Because they helped us with the alphabet. And how about Oscar the Grouch? Just put him over here. Great job, guys. Thanks for your help. Elmo walks to the supermarket. He wants to find his friends. He wants to play at the park with his friends. He knocks on the supermarket door. And guess who's inside? It's Big Bird! Big Bird says, hello. He walks outside of the supermarket and he wants to play at the park too. They run over to the schoolhouse. Oscar the Grouch is still in school. They ring the doorbell and the school door opens. They see Oscar the Grouch. Oscar hops out of the school and he says, hello. Big Bird walks over and says, hello. Now they need to find their other friends. They ask, where is Cookie Monster? Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch and Elmo run to the pizza parlor. They want to find their friend, Cookie Monster. Big Bird knocks on the door. The door opens. Cookie Monster says, hello. He hops to his friends because he's so happy to see them. But where's Abby? We should walk to her apartment. They walk to her apartment. Oscar the Grouch hops and Big Bird runs. They're here. Big Bird rings the doorbell and the door opens. There's Abby. Abby walks down the steps. She's so happy she's laughing. She says, let's walk to the park. Elmo says, I want to drive to the park. He hops in his car and he drives away. Abby says, I want to fly to the park in my helicopter. She skips to her helicopter, hops in, and then she flies away. Big Bird says, I want to ride to the park in my truck. Big Bird runs to his truck hops in and rides away. Cookie Monster and Oscar the Grouch will walk to the park. Let's go! Let's play hide and seek, says Elmo. Good idea, says Abby. Abby hides behind the tree. Big Bird walks to the tree and hides with Abby. Elmo says, I'll count to 10, then I'll find you. Cookie Monster says, where should I hide? I'll hide behind this tree. He runs to the tree and hides. Where should Oscar the Grouch hide? How about behind this tree? Good idea. He slides over to this tree and hides. Ready or not, here I come. Elmo looks for his friends. He looks behind the first tree. He finds Abby, Abby, and Big Bird. I found you. Now he walks over to the other tree and looks around and finds Cookie Monster. I found you, Cookie Monster. He still needs to find his other friend, Oscar the Grouch. Do you remember where he's hiding? Yes, behind this tree. I found you. Yes, you found me. Big Bird and Abby want to play hide and seek. Okay, says Elmo. Let's play. I'll count to 10 while you hide. Elmo walks over, turns to the fence, and starts to count. Abby runs to the tree and hides. 
Big Bird walks to the other tree and hides also. Oscar the Grouch says, where should I hide? He sees the other tree and slides over to hide behind the other tree. What about me, says Cookie Monster? Where can I hide? With me, says Abby. He runs over to Abby and hides behind her tree. Elmo counted to 10, and now he's ready to find his friends. He walks over to the first tree and says, I see you. And there he sees Abby and he sees Cookie Monster. I found you. You found me. And you found me. Now let's walk over to find Big Bird. He walks to find Big Bird and he sees him behind the tree. Hi, Big Bird. Hi, Elmo. Where should we look for Oscar the Grouch? Let's hop over to the other tree and look behind the tree. There he is. You found me. I found all of my friends. I want to play on the seesaw, says Big Bird. He walks to the seesaw and jumps on. Elmo says, I will play with you. He walks to the other side and hops on. And then they play. The seesaw is fun. When Elmo is done, he hops off. Big Bird hops off too and walks to her other friends. I want to ride on the Ferris wheel. Big Bird walks over and jumps onto the Ferris wheel. Cookie Monster says, I want to play on the Ferris wheel also. He walks over and jumps on. Let's walk to the zoo and look at all of the animals. Elmo walks to the zoo. Cookie Monster hops to the zoo. Big Bird runs to the zoo. Oscar the Grouch slides to the zoo. And Abby skips to the zoo. They all wait in line to get to the zoo. They watch all the animals. This is a giraffe. The giraffe walks really slow because it's so tall. The gorilla plays on all of the rocks. The tiger runs really fast. Elmo laughs at the tiger. He loves to see the tiger. Now he pets the tiger. Cookie Monster laughs also. He's having so much fun. He wants to pet the giraffe. Cookie Monster pets the giraffe. Big Bird wants to play with the gorilla. The gorilla runs over and Big Bird can play with him now. Hi, gorilla. Oscar the Grouch says, I'm hungry, I want to eat. Let's walk to the pizza store. Elmo and his friends run to the pizza store. They are hungry. Elmo sits down at the table and Cookie Mon Monster sits at the other table. Elmo eats the pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Cookie Monster says, I'm thirsty. He drinks some water. Big Bird says, I'm hungry too. He eats the pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Abby walks over and says, I don't feel good. I need to go to the hospital. Luckily, they're right next door to a hospital. Abby opens the door to the hospital and walks through the door. She meets the doctor and says, Doctor, I don't feel very good. She lays down on the bed. The doctor says, you'll be okay. Let's check you out. She checks Abby's heart and her eyes. And then she picks up a special tool to test her stomach. 
She says, I think you have a tummy ache from eating too much pizza. Abby jumps off the table and says, Thank you, doctor. I feel better already. Will you help me match the right ball with the right friend? Thanks. This ball is red. Where should I put the red ball? You're right. I should put it over here with Elmo. Elmo's red. What about the blue ball? Where should I put the blue ball? You're right. Here with Cookie Monster. And the green ball. Where should I put the green ball? Yes, Oscar the Grouch. He likes green. And what about the yellow ball? Hmm, would it go with Rosita? <laughs> no, it's going to come up here with Big Bird. Big Bird is yellow, so he gets the yellow ball. What about the orange one? I don't see anybody here that's orange. Oh, but wait! Rosita has orange around her eyes and an orange bow in her hair. Yep, she's going to get the orange ball. And last but not least, our pink ball. Who gets the pink ball? Right, it's Gabby. What's going to happen when I touch the magic wand to one of the balls? Let's see. Wow, I wonder what would happen if I touch the pink ball. Wow, it's like magic. What will happen if I touch the blue ball? Neat. Let's try the yellow ball. And now, the green ball. That was fun. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, if we squeeze the bubble real hard, it pops open. It looks like candy. Let's feed the candy to Cookie Monster. Count with me. One, two, three, and four. That's the number four. And it's blue, just like Cookie Monster. Now, I wonder what's inside. Which one should we pick? The green ball. Squeeze, oh, it popped. Let's count the candy and feed it to Oscar the Grouch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six pieces of candy for Oscar. And here's the number six. It's green. Which one should we open next? Yes, the orange ball. And squeeze. <laughs> there, we popped it. It's more orange candy. Let's feed it to Rosita. Count with me. One, two. This looks like a lot of candy. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight pieces of candy, and this is orange. Which one should we open next? How about the yellow ball? And squeeze. <laughs> wow, now it's yellow candy. Let's count and feed it to Big Bird. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven yellow pieces of candy. That's the number seven. And it's yellow, just like Big Bird. And now the magic wand is going to choose the pink one. Pop. Oh, look, that's not very much candy. Let's count and give it to Gabby. One pink candy, two pink candies. That's the number two, and it's pink, just like Gabby. Hey, there's still one red ball left, but we didn't change it. I wonder what will happen when I touch the wand to the red ball. Let's see. Wow, that's not a ball, but it's red. Should we open it up and see what's inside? Yes, I hear something shaking. Let's see. 
Oh, what's that? It's little monkeys, and they're all different colors. Let's count and put them back in the barrel. Okay, let's count the monkeys and put them back in the barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look, they're caught together. Eight, nine, and ten. That's ten monkeys. Let's put the lid on and see what happens when our magic wand comes in. Now we have all the barrels. This is the blue barrel, yellow, purple, green, and red. It looks like we changed all of the numbers into ice cream scoops. But hey, that's not an ice cream scoop. That's Baby Shark. <laughs> Let's see what's underneath Baby Shark. Hey, it's food. It's corn. Corn is yellow and starts with a C. And it's a lemon. Lemon starts with an L. Big Bird loves to eat lemons and corn. Which one should we look at next? The orange one? Okay. Wow, look at all the great food. It's an orange. Orange starts with an O. And here's a popsicle. This popsicle is orange and it has a C on it. That's a big C. C is for cat. Let's feed that to Gabby. Which one should we look under next? How about the green one? Wow, more food. Hmm, this is broccoli. I'll bet Oscar loves broccoli. Broccoli starts with a B. And look, another popsicle. The popsicle is green too. That's the letter K. K is for kite. Let's feed that to Oscar. He needs his veggies. Let's open the red one. Yum, those snacks look great. It's a red strawberry. Strawberry starts with an S. And this popsicle has the letter H on it. H is for horse. Let's feed that to Elmo for his snack. How about the pink one? I wonder what's under there. There's some great snacks. It's a peach. Peach starts with the letter P. And it's another popsicle. This popsicle has a W on it. W is for watermelon. Okay, Gabby, you can have your snack now. It's our last one, and it's blue. Here we go. It's our last popsicle. This popsicle has the letter E on it. E is for elephant. Let's feed that to Cookie Monster. What? What's that? It's a cookie. That cookie isn't blue. But maybe we should count the chocolate chips and then feed it to Cookie Monster. Okay, here we go. Count with me. One, two, three. We got it right. Okay, he can have his treat now. Let's get ready to count all the monkeys. Oh no, all of the monkeys got out of their barrel. Will you help me sort them and put them back in the right barrel? Thanks. Okay, let's listen to some music while we put them in the right barrel. Red, red, green, yellow, red, orange, yellow, whoops, red and purple, green, blue, orange, and purple, yellow and purple, yellow, blue, it's stuck, blue, orange, green, red, orange, blue, purple, green, blue and blue, purple, orange, orange, 
yellow, blue, purple, orange, green, red, green, green, I dropped one, orange, red, purple, yellow, purple. We're almost done. Green, yellow, red, purple, 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 blue, orange, green, yellow, yellow, blue, purple, red, red, green, yellow, blue, blue, and our last one, where does it go? In the orange bucket. Great job. Hey Elmo, can you help Mr. Crab find his home? One of these bowls is his and he's lost. You will? Thank you. What's the first clue we should look for? Hmm, what about that number on his belly? Yep, that's the number four. Which one of these bowls has four bubbles? Is it this one? Let's count and find out. One, two. No, it's not that one. What about this one? Let's count the bubbles and see. One, two, three, four. Yes, that's it. That's the right bowl. But what's our other clue we should look for? Hmm. What was that, Elmo? The color red? Yes, Mr. Crab is the color red. And his bowl is red too. I think we found his home. Okay, it's time for Mr. Crab to go home. Good night, Mr. Crab. What was that, Elmo? You're red too? Oh, that's right. Red in Spanish is rojo. Great job. You earned a prize. All right, Elmo. Which one of these prizes do you want? Hmm. Do you think you might want the green one? No. Which one do you want? Yes, the red one, because you're red. Do you remember red in Spanish was rojo? But if you want the prize, you have to count the number inside the box. Okay, here we go. That's one, one dot, you did it. Now you get the prize inside. What is it? It's an airplane. Good job, Elmo. Hey, Cookie Monster. Do you think Mr. Shark likes to eat cookies too? No, he doesn't. What does he like to eat? What was that? He likes to eat blue cookies? Oh, you're just being silly. Help me find Mr. Shark's home. Well, what's our first clue? Yes, it's the number on his belly. That is the number one. Which one of these bowls has only one bubble? I think I know which one it is. Do you? You do? It's this one? No, it's not. It's this one. Let's count the bubble and see. One. And that's the number one on the shark's belly. We did it. What's our next clue? What is it, Cookie Monster? Yes, the shark is blue. And which bowl is blue? Hmm. It's that one. You did it. Let's help Mr. Shark go to his home. Here he goes. Good job, Cookie Monster. Blue in Spanish is azul. You get a prize. Cookie Monster, which prize do you want? Hmm, do you want the yellow one? No. What about the dark green? You do, okay. But if you want this prize, you have to count all the dots on the inside of the box. Okay, help him out. One, 
two, three, four, five. You did it! Now you get the prize inside the box. I wonder what it is. It's a little green lizard. All right, Cookie Monster, have fun with your new pet. Hey, Oscar, what number is that on the seahorse? What number is it? It's the number two? Okay, let's help the seahorse find his bowl. Hmm, which one of these bowls have only two bubbles? Do you think it's this one? No, it's this one. Let's count the bubbles and see. One, two, yes, we found it. What's our next clue? Oscar, I think you know this one. What do you think it is? It's the color green, the seahorse is green, and Oscar is green. You're right. Now let's help the seahorse go to its home. Green in Spanish is verde. Oscar, which prize are you gonna choose? Are you gonna try this one? No, I'll bet you're gonna try this one because it's green just like you. But you know what you have to do. You have to count the dots on the inside. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You did it. Let's see what the prize is. It's a teddy bear. You love teddy bears. Hey, Big Bird. Will you help that Mr. Fish find his home? You will? Thank you so much. What's our first clue? It's the number five on his belly? Okay, let's find the fish bowl with five bubbles. Well, it's either this one or this one. Can you help Big Bird find out which bowl it is? You will help him? Thank you. Okay, is it this bowl? No. It's this one. Let's count the bubbles and make sure. One, two, three, four, five. We did it, it has five bubbles. Hey, Big Bird, what's our other clue about Mr. Fish? What was that? He's orange? Yes, you're right, and the bowl is orange. Let's help him go into his bowl. Big Bird, what's orange in Spanish? Anaranjado? Right, you have another color on you. It's yellow. What's yellow in Spanish? Amarillo, good job. You did so great, let's give you a prize. All right, Big Bird, which prize are you gonna choose? Do you know which one Big Bird's gonna choose? You do, I'll bet you do. It's this one, because Big Bird is yellow, just like this prize. Let's count the dots on the inside and help him get his prize. One, two, three. This box has three dots. What's inside, Big Bird? It's a rubber ducky. You love rubber duckies. Hey, Gabby. Will you help Mr. Octopus find his home? You will? Thank you so much. What's our first clue we're going to look for? The number on him? Okay. What number is that? It's the number three? Awesome! Let's find the bowl with three bubbles. Well, of course, it's our last one. Let's count the three bubbles. One, two, three. We did it! And what's our last clue? Yes! Mr. Octopus is purple. Okay, let's help Mr. Octopus go to his home in the purple bowl. Good job! Gabby, how do you say purple in Spanish? Morado, right! You're so smart, let's get you a prize. Gabby, you're last, but that's okay, you still get a prize. You get the last box, it's this one. Box number two, it's orange. Will you help me count the dots inside so we can give you a prize? Here we go, one, two, you did it! And your prize? <gasps> is a kitty cat. You love kitty cats. Oh, have so much fun. Elmo, 
Will you help me count the boxes one more time? Thanks! One, two, three, four, five! Now do you want to do the colors? You do? Oh good! Red, orange, yellow, green, dark green! Oh, that's so exciting! Can you say them in Spanish? Yes? Okay, here we go! Rojo, anaranjado, amarillo, verde, y verde oscuro! Great job, Elmo! It's Cookie Monster! Cookie Monster is blue, and let's see what's inside! Hmm, there's lots of blue items! First, it's the number block car! It's blue also! And let's count the dots on the front! One, two, three, four, five! It's the number five! Next is a ladybug! It's blue also! Let's count the dots! One, two, three. We got it right, that's the number three. Oh look, it's a present. That's the number seven. Let's open it up and count the dots on the inside. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like the number. What's that inside? It's a truck. Now we have a popsicle. This popsicle is blue also. That's the letter I. And that's an igloo. An igloo's made of ice. It's the number five. The number five is blue. And it's a train. This train is blue also. Here we go. Choo choo. It's the letter G. And the letter M. M and G are blue. I still hear more toys. There's Cookie Monster. He's blue, just like all of the other toys. Do you think there's anything left? Yes, there is. It's blue dinosaurs. Okay, let's count them. Count with me. One, two, three, and four. Great job. Who's this? It's Big Bird! Big Bird is yellow and orange. Let's open it up and see what we have. Oh, so many toys! First, we have an orange ladybug. Let's count the dots. One, two. Let's see. Yes, that's it. That's the number two. And the ladybug is orange. And now there's a present. This present is yellow and orange. That's the number three. Let's count how many dots are inside. One, two, three. Yep, that's the number three. Hey, what's that? It's a duck. Quack, quack, quack. It's the number block car number two. It's orange also. Let's count the dots. One, two. You're doing great. And it's a bus. The bus is orange and yellow, just like Big Bird. It carries people to work and to school. It's another popsicle. The popsicle is orange, and that's the letter F. Yep, F is for fish. Oh, look, <laughs> there's Big Bird. See, Big Bird is yellow, and his feet are orange. There are more toys. It's the letter S. S is yellow. It's the letter J. J is orange. It's the number 10. 10 is orange also. And now we just have our dinosaurs. Okay, count the dinosaurs with me. One. Two, three, and four. And this one is Abby. Hey, Abby. You are pink and purple. Let's see what pink and purple toys are inside. 
Here we go. Let's start with a present. This present is purple, and that's the number 10. That means there's going to be a lot of dots on the inside. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dots. And what's that? It's a bunny rabbit. Hop, hop, hop. Next is a ladybug with one dot. It's purple. Yep, that's the number one. Now we have another popsicle. This popsicle has the letter B and it's purple. Let's see. B is for butterfly. It's the number seven. The number seven is purple. It's an airplane. This airplane is purple and pink and it flies in the air. More dinosaurs. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, and four. Four purple dinosaurs. But where's Abby? Oh, she's still in there. There's Abby. Abby loves to fly just like the airplane. And she's pink and purple. Now we have Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch is green. Let's find out what toys he's playing with. There's a popsicle. The popsicle is green and that's the letter T. T is for turtle. And here's a number block car. Which number block car is this? Let's count the lights in the front. One, two, three, four. It's number block four and it's green. Oh look, here's another number four. It's green also. It's a present. The present is green, but that's the number five. Let's open it up and count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. Five dots. What's inside? It's a green lizard. And it's a truck. The truck is green. Now we have another ladybug. This ladybug is green and it has four dots. Let's count. One, two, three, four. We got it right. That's the number four. What's next? It's the letter M. This letter M is green. There's Oscar the Grouch in his trash can. We'll put in there. Is there anything left in the box? Yes. What is it? It's the letter D and Oh, look, it's two dinosaurs. One, two. It's Elmo. Elmo is red. Let's find out what toys he's playing with inside. Well, first, there's a red ladybug. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot of dots. Yes, it's ladybug number 10. Now we have a fire truck. The fire truck puts out fires and saves people. It's red also. It's a popsicle. The popsicle is red and that's the letter A. A is for apple. Now we have a present. This present is red and that's the number one. It only has one dot. But what's that? It's an airplane. Airplane flies high in the sky. It's a number block car number one. See, it has one light and it's red. Here's Elmo. He's red and he's ready to play with all of his toys. Let's see if there's anything else. There is. It's the number six. The number six is red. <laughs> Let's put it right there. And last but not least, <gasps> there are dinosaurs. Count with me. One, two, three, and four. Four red dinosaurs. 
And now, it's Rosita. Hey, Rosita, you're a special color. That's teal. It's like a light blue. What toys are you playing with? Let's see. First, you have a teal present. And this present has the number six. Let's see. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dots. Oh, it's a robot. The robot is teal also. And now we have the letter V. That's teal. V is for violin. It's the letter F. F is for fun. It's the letter N. N is for noodle. Only one more toy inside. It's Rosita. to help Elmo and Cookie Monster and Oscar the Grouch find their home. Which one of these boxes is for them? Hmm, let's start with Elmo. Elmo is red. Which one of these boxes is red? It's this one. Wow, Elmo, that's your box now. Which one of these boxes is for Oscar the Grouch? He's green. Which box is green? Yes, it's this one. Okay, here he goes inside. There it is. That's the green box. And now, Cookie Monster. I think we know which one is Cookie Monster's. Yes, it's the blue box. Okay, time to jump inside. Perfect. That's Cookie Monster's box. Purple, orange, teal. It's Big Bird's turn. Which one of these boxes do you think belongs to Bitbird? Yes, the orange one, because he has orange feet. Here we go. Now he's home and inside. It's Gabby's turn. Which one of these boxes do you think Gabby lives in? Well, her shirt is teal, but her hair is purple, and that's her favorite color, mine too. Good job, Gabby. And now Rosita, last but not least, she's teal. So the teal box is hers. Great job. Red, green, blue, purple, orange. There's something inside of Cookie Monster's house. Let's see what it is. Let's count and see what's inside his house. Hey, it's rings, blue rings. Which bowl should we put the blue rings in? I think we should put it in the bowl with a blue triangle. That's right, that's a blue triangle. Okay, will you help me count the rings? Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Yes, that means there are four rings. Let's put that right there. There's something inside Oscar the Grouch's house. Let's see what's inside. Are you ready to count and see what's inside Oscar the Grouch's house? More rings. These rings are green. Which one should we put them in? Right, we should put them in the bowl with the green hexagon. This is a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. This one is green. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. This has six rings and they're green. There's something inside Elmo's house. I wonder, let's find out. What about Elmo's house? That sounds like a lot of rings. Let's see. Yes, these rings are red. Which, oh, which bowl should we put them in? You're right, the one with a red square. A square has four sides. Okay, count with me. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's a lot of rings, and 10. Great job, 10 rings. There's something inside Big Bird's house. Now it's time for Big Bird's barn. Let's count how many rings there are. Well, I can see rings, but which bowl should we put it in? Hmm, should we put it in this one? No, that one has the color purple. This one has the color orange. It's a plus sign. Okay, count with me. One, two, and three. Right, it has three rings. And now Gabby's house. I hear something in there too. Now it's time for Gabby's house. Let's count. Hey, this one's gonna be easy to count, but which bowl should I put it in? Yes, I should put it here in the purple equal sign. This is an equal sign. One. And there's our number one. What about this bowl? This is a dark orange circle. But where's our barn to count? It's the number zero. This zero is orange, and a zero means we don't have anything to count. Great job. It's time to feed Oscar the Grouch. Okay, let's put you in your box. Now we need to find four foods to feed him. Why don't we feed him these cucumbers? They're green, just like the box. Okay, count with me. One, two, three, and four. Now let's feed Elmo. Remember, he's red, so he goes in the red box. This box just has the number one on it. That means we give it one red strawberry for Elmo to have for dinner. Now it's time to feed Big Bird. Which box do we put him in? Let's put him in box number two. That one's orange. Or he could go in the yellow one. Let's feed him two oranges. One and two. What about box number three? Let's feed him these three lemons. One, two, and three. Oh no, we have one left over. What about Cookie Monster? I don't see any blue food. What should we feed him? Why, cookies, of course. Why don't we count five cookies to put in the cookie jar? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. One, two, three, four, five. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. 